Parliament, which is part of the legislative branch of government, was dissolved on February 5 to facilitate the 2016 general elections. Now that the polls are behind us and a new government is in place, a new parliament has to be convened, meaning the 63 persons who were voted in the lower house or the House of Representatives and the 21 persons appointed to the Senate, also known as the upper house. Hence, Thursday, March 10 marked the opening of the new parliament and swearing-in ceremony of its members. Let's begin with the Senate. Tom Tavares Finson is a president of the Upper House. He has signaled that the House rules will be relaxed to facilitate more questions from members. I urge all members to ensure that their contributions are delivered in a manner that serve this Jamaica land we love. It is my intention that my tenure as president of this Senate is marked by civility and constructive debate rather than rancor and invective. We look forward to working together in partnership for the betterment of Jamaica in service of the people of Jamaica. We look forward to a constructive engagement with the government on matters of importance and for the benefit of our country and to play our role as opposition responsibly at all times. Some of the newly appointed Senate members say they are very grateful for the opportunity to serve their country. There's a lot to be done and we're looking forward to it. I have a good grasp for the issues facing the country, so I should be able to offer good service. A vibrant exchange of ideas. We deliberate and we debate and, and may the best ideas come forward. Especially pleased that I've been elected as the Deputy President uh, and that will all those responsibilities I take very seriously as I always have and of course looking at the growth agenda that the Prime Minister has set to make sure we do everything possible to grow this economy and make the government efficient and effective and responsive to people who are of lesser means. Most members of parliament, that is, those elected to serve in the House of Representatives, also took the oath of office. Colonel Charles Sr. will take charge of the lower house through his appointment as speaker. I am well aware of the duties of the speaker and I'm prepared to live up to my standards and to have my colleagues be encouraged to live up to the standards. He will be supported by Derek Smith, leader of government business in the House of Representatives, and Philip Paulwell, the leader of opposition business. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has expressed confidence in the Speaker. Mr. Speaker, yours is an awesome task. Tremendous responsibilities rest upon your shoulders. We have every confidence that you will be judicious, firm, impartial, and professional in presiding over the business of the House. Prime Minister Holness also urged parliamentarians to uphold the highest standards of conduct, adding that the people of Jamaica should be the priority. In the same way, we crossed many bridges, climbed many hills, navigated rocky mountains to get the vote. Now that we have the vote, we must keep our promises, make ourselves equally accessible to our constituents, and uphold the highest standard of public conduct. Opposition leader Portia Simpson Miller echoed a similar sentiment, adding that her team would be scrutinizing the government on behalf of the people. We will not fail in performing that duty. We will be strong. We will be vigilant. We will be firm. We will provide constructive criticism. Let us endeavor to be sober, respectful, forward-thinking, and mature as elected representatives of the people of Jamaica. Let us put Jamaica first and work together to build our great nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.